So today I'm going to show you guys how to get the smooth shake effect for text. You guys can also add this on icons or whatever you would like inside of After Effects. And today I'm going to be using the Shake Sauce to plug in via my homie Brian Delamada. If you guys want to go ahead, check out the plugin. It is free for your first seven days that you sign up with it. So go ahead, check it out and have some fun with it. And then also I'll show you the way to do it for free, which just takes a little bit longer. But if you don't want to go ahead and download the, the free Shake Sauce 2 trial, then I still got you. So so here's the footage that we're going to be using. It's the homie Ron Doug. His stuff's really, really clean. I'm going to go ahead and just type in the text. And the way you actually get text inside of After Effects is you go up here to the T or you just hit T on your keyboard and you just type in your text. So I'm going to type it in just like so. And then you can format your text over here super, super simply. So once you format the text the way that you like it, you can go ahead and just position it over here just like so. Or you can just drag and drop it over just like that. I'm gonna leave it just like so. And then we want to go ahead and make sure like this is kind of the area that we want it. And then let's say we want it in this area. Let's go ahead, we can cut that. Let's go ahead and just do right click go over here to pre-compose simple click that okay so now that you have your text layer pre-composed double click it and then you want to go over here select it go to handheld press enter just like so and then you're going to see your text is actually shaking which is exactly what you want go back over here and you see that the text is shaking just like so now the reason we pre-compose it is so that way the shake is only on the text now we can go ahead and just create our um sort of animations i'm going to go ahead and create an animation so we're just going to go ahead position clock I'm gonna do this just like so I'm just gonna move this down because I want it to like go out just like so and then we go ahead easy ease right click go to the graph just make a nice little little out just like so then that looks horrible because there's no motion blur then we go ahead throw on some motion blur and it looks good fire so let's go ahead and watch our tech shake Fire. that's the easy way now let's go ahead and do it the manual way so the manual way is you just go ahead type in the text so text just like so you position it where you want it place it just like so and then you want to go over here to position right click you want to go over here to edit expression and then you want to type in wiggle parentheses and then you want to do like one dash three or something like that and then go ahead check it out see if the wiggle looks good that's really really slow so go ahead maybe just make this like 20 five okay it's too fast now so we want to go ahead and change the amplitude because we want it bigger so maybe make this 20 and then maybe then make this one uh five as you can see it is starting to do a little shake but as you can see it can take a while to get exactly kind of what you're looking for maybe do three let's see how this looks Yeah, it's still a little too fast maybe just one there we go that's a little bit better okay so after a little bit of trial and error we finally got the shake that we're looking for i did wiggle one comma 20 and like to me that looks good so as you can see it is shaking so the pros to using shake sauce is you can literally do this effect without having to play around with the numerical values at all because the presets already made for you or you can actually go ahead and create your own custom presets inside of shake sauce as well so that's what i did with my flicker preset and i also did it with like another flicker then i have my own handheld preset so let's just go ahead get rid of this expression so let's get rid of that so that way we have stagnant text just like so go ahead do half so it's stagnant and then let's say we want the whole thing to just be shaking like so literally just right click pre-compose just like so double click and then just handheld click good and then you have your shake already done for you that was only three seconds as opposed to typing in wiggle etc and doing all that and if you're a full-time editor those seconds actually really really do matter you just being able to create your own catalog of presets is going to be so fire for you and your workflow but anyways guys that is it for today's video if you guys want to go ahead and copy your own version of shake sauce it is free for your first seven days so i recommend trying it out and if you like it go ahead and purchase it but anyways i hope this video was helpful please leave a like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one remember take action Take over. Peace.